Hi kids, welcome to this class about core. I don't know if we can call it still yoga, but there will be some core happening. Not too much, I'm not a huge like a core fan, so <laughs> that said, we will do some core. It will be very short. Lay on your back. <laughs> okay, relax first here. Take a breath. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Maybe one more. Inhale and exhale. Sighing it out. Relax your face, your jaw, your shoulders, and legs, and arms. You can wiggle everything a little bit. And then release. So core is not just um, like the rectus abdominis, the very apparent six-pack muscle. You have more things happening there. And we want to have all these muscles to work in uh, some kind of um, collaboration, symbios, symbiosis, <laughs> symbiotic kind of working of everything and it also consists of some muscles at the back at the bottom of your pelvic floor and your diaphragm this is why your core is really working with your breath because you want to use the diaphragm and the bottom diaphragm basically which is your pelvic floor to work with it so every time you go into some kind of core engagement like a strong one especially if you are pushing the belly down try to do it only on your exhales to build also um, the natural muscle memory and that kind of working of of your core so we will start with a little bit of um, upper core you can bring your fingertips behind your earlobes and the legs a little bit closer towards each other and activate the legs. So you want to push the maybe through the heels if you prefer that or like the toes spreading them and really pushing long. And already here if you push you can realize there is like a change happening in the rest of your body. If this is too much weight for you you can also have your arms beside your body. That way you are not uh, you don't have to lift that much weight. If you want to add weight, bring your arms over the head or even grab something. Take a breath here, elongate through those toes. Allow the belly to go out. We are not doing anything. And then exhale, slowly lift the chest, the head, and then squeeze the belly down. This is an amazing exercise if you have also diastasis recti, so you don't have to really mind that much sometimes. Usually it happens when you are lifting your legs higher, so this is very safe for everyone. Inhale, release. You were probably breathing in that. Exhale, and you can look at your belly. Inhale here, allow it to grow a little bit, and then exhale, squeeze it in, lift even more. Inhale, release. And we'll go three more times. Exhale. Squeeze it down. Inhale, release. Feel how the spine lengthens. Activate your legs. Squeeze the inner chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale, last one. Exhale, lift. And hold, not your breath though, expand, release a little bit, exhale, go even deeper, and then release, shake your legs, shake your booty, shake your shoulders, release your hands, and we are coming to more the lower part of your belly, bring your legs up, you can keep small bend in your knees, or if it's accessible or more comfortable for you, you can straighten your knees arms beside your body inhale here and exhale lift the hips up 
inhale release exhale lift maybe without using your hands too much <laughs> release I really suck at this. Exhale, lift, release, inhale. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. Slowly, your legs will go down. Try to keep little bit of anterior, anterior pelvic tilt so you are trying to bring the sitting bones facing up so a little bit of roundness in your low back belly is active but keep breathing into it as you slowly lower the legs down maybe this is too much for you maybe your belly tends to go out or you tend to too much or you tend to lose your breath hold it try to keep breathing and release the legs all the way, take an inhale, exhale, the right knee comes towards your chest, this is my favorite one, and it's mostly uh, my favorite one because as you have that one like in towards you, somehow magically your core is engaged even though uh, you're not really trying to watch arms above your body, you can create Kali Mudra, interlacing the fingers, releasing your index finger, inhale reach squeeze the right knee in and exhale we will point from the inside of the right knee as we lift the left heel hovers above the ground inhale reach back but don't go towards the ground just back and exhale go to the right side of your right knee so targeting also your side body a little bit inhale come back and we will switch the legs Inhale, you can release down. Exhale, reach to the inside of your left leg. Inhale back. Exhale, side bending on the left side. Going from the outside of the left leg. Inhale back, switch the legs. Exhale to the center. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. Inhale back, switch the legs. Exhale to the center. Inhale back, exhale to the left, one more round, reach back, switch legs, exhale to the center, <laughs> inhale back, exhale to the right, squeeze on the right side, inhale back, switch, exhale center, inhale back, exhale left side, inhale back, release knees to your chest, you can move them right, left, grab underneath your knees, we are going to roll back and forward few times try to keep your belly in to make your spine really round roll 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 until you end up on uh, your bum sitting and then step or stand or come onto your <laughs> come into your squat to take a little break you can put your upper arms on your knees maybe your heels down if it's possible you can release your neck a little bit, move your head here, maybe even a circle with your head, even closing your eyes. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Okay. And place the palms forward, bring the hips up into downward facing dog. You can shake here, you can move your knees, bending them one at a time. And we're going for my favorite one which is Vashistasana or side plank but very very high one it's more also like about the shoulder strength in this case but also about the side core and yeah I prefer it from the straight plank so we're going to bend the knees and bring the hips very low pressing from both hands of the shoulder blades Rise up to your ears and then squeeze the upper arms towards the jugular and also your inner thighs. Take a breath, breath in and then exhale, pivot your heels to the right side. And already here you're squeezing on your right side quite a lot. You're pushing from your right hand, coming onto your left fingertips. Use also your right fingertips, press them into the mat. Squeeze your right side and then inhale. As you exhale, 
bring your right knee to straight but resist with your right hand and then here you're trying to bring your chest bone in reaching a little bit higher squeezing on your right side squeezing the inner thighs and the inner arms towards each other maybe you pivot a little bit around your waist so you turn more to the side maybe even up targeting also your back and then very slowly coming back to the center or rather towards the front palm down feet down bend the knees downward facing dog second side inhale use your fingertips in the mat exhale bend the knees hips low pivot the feet to the heels to the left side coming up onto your right fingers left fingertips grab into the mat press even longer from your left hand left shoulder inhale and then exhale start extending the left knee squeezing the left side body squeezing the arms and legs towards each other chest bone comes in away from the ground and then you can start again pivoting around the waist maybe all the way back inhale come back to the center and then more towards your mat both hands, feet down and down take a little break maybe in child's pose or sitting on your heels take a breath in and out okay last exercise we're just going to go for a few planks side planks the normal planks so use your shoulders always focus also on your shoulders not collapsing and then a way to engage those stabilizing muscles also in your core and in your hips is just to create length so this is what we are going to focus on rather than strictly sticking towards the core palms come down onto the mat in the front and lift your hips again to your down dog and he'll roll forward into a plank and then use your fingertips again and imagine length through your heels through your glutes slightly activating your ribs in the front comes in your chest bone in then send the shoulder blades down and elongate the back of the neck lifting the face away from the ground inhale here and exhale come onto the right elbow very slowly with control and then transfer over to your right side bringing maybe the feet stacking one on top of the other press a little bit from your right shoulder inhale here maybe lifting the left hand up and exhale transfer back onto the left elbow this time elongate inhale exhale onto the left maybe sticking the feet maybe stepping the left feet or the right feet rather in the front maybe the right arm up push a little bit from the left shoulder inhale exhale right palm comes right underneath where your right shoulder will be transfer into your plank position on the palms and let's do the second side inhale elongate exhale left elbow down back to your side plank on the left side take a breath here elongate exhale belly squeezes in coming onto your right forearm into right side plank inhale elongate exhale belly and front ribs in maybe squeezing the glutes a little bit left palm down and find your high plank inhale exhale belly and ribs and count your downward facing dog bring your knees down any kind of variation of your camo pose or ustrasana just to compensate so you can come up come up on your heels sorry on your knees palms onto your uh, hips on the back any position with the fingertips work works and then imagine you want to stretch the chest and your shoulders back 
bringing the elbows in. Chest goes up, 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 all the way up. And this way, pulling the chest up, your belly stretches. Keep your glutes engaged, maybe even your toes. Keep squeezing if you want to go further, maybe the palms, fingertips onto your heels if you know what you're doing. Focus on lifting from the chest, though. Take a breath in. Exhale. Maybe even allowing the head to hang to open your throat. And then slowly coming with the palms onto your hips. First sitting down, keeping your back bent. And then straightening once you have the support of sitting from the bottom to the top of your spine. Palms on your thighs. Knees can come together, toes together. Take a breath in and out. Slowly open your eyes. As I said, this was very short. I hope you liked it. Hit the like um, button or dislike, I don't care. Um, comment if you want to ask something or maybe just to say hi and have a nice day.